That one's our coaching with the little fuzzy feeties. Oh, oh, look at the fuzzy feeties. So that one we keep, and then one of the bards we'll keep. Here they come. Come on, babies. Well, that shows the difference about how much our Cornish rocks have grown. Yeah, yeah. they've grown a lot. A little accepting there, right there. Come on, everybody. Everybody. We'll put this right over here, guys. You can stay. You can use that. Gosh, our our Cornish rocks really have grown in three weeks. Yeah, they have. An absolutely beautiful day on the homestead. Couldn't ask for anything better. The temperatures are real nice and sunny, and it is gorgeous. Well, only after one day, they're all getting along and playing together, and they slept together last night, so very successful, the integration of these new birds. Everybody seems to be happy, and that's wonderful. All right, it's a nice day, and everybody's trying to get them out. Kids are doing great. First time ducks are out. Yeah, first time the ducks are out. Hopefully, they'll... We'll be able to get them back in. That's our biggest concern, is can we get them back in their house? But we'll see, they'll go around and do their thing for a while and enjoy some out time, outside time. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But the ducks are out for the first time. Oh boy, look at all the Nuggetrons there. <laughs> Getting a little outside time. And of course the chickens are out, which... Yeah, they're in the forest. Yeah. It doesn't take long for them to, hopefully they won't go and start eating uh, some of our plants. We've got these taters over here. And we put them underneath because we've had a little bit of rain each night. And because of that, we need to get them out of the rain because they, if they get too saturated, the potatoes will just kind of disintegrate so I'm just moving them from their location here to here underneath the awning there just so we can uh, basically let them dry up just a little bit so they don't disintegrate. The other thing I'm doing is working on this old smoker. Started to sort of grind it down a little bit, get the rust off of it and I'll get a coat of paint on it. But this way we can have a, a nice smoker for the fish that we get in the future and maybe even you know when we get our chickens together we'll be able to uh, dispatch the chicken and smoke the chickens and then go from there so great project but it does take a little bit of time and work it's either you know it's either time or money so you can see the size difference between the two and uh, it's okay, there's really not that many Welcome weeks difference but boy those uh, meat birds they really grow fast it is absolutely incredible so which one's this one this is the coaching. <laughs> this is a keeper to add to the flock. It's just a little ball of fuzz. Just a little fuzzy feet. Yep, he's got those fuzzy feet. Oh, I just love the way you guys walk. <laughs> it is so dang cute. I love the way they walk. <laughs> yeah, kids? What do you think? Hi, Snow. Hi, Charming. You can see the back of her head there. She's healing up real nice. Now that rooster's not getting after her all the time. And he is not far behind. He always stays close. Those two just adore each other. That's also a real good sign. The chickens don't seem to be bothered too much by the ducks. The ducks just are kind of following along the chickens, but do you know they're not really being aggressive towards each other. They're just sort of keeping uh, their distance from each other for the most part. And that's that's good. That's working out real nice. So we're getting our hydroponics ready. 
we have definitely made and had discussions about what to do with our hydroponics this year. As you can see, we've kind of just done some organization of different uh, pots and so forth so we can get some some growth going and, and end up putting it into the hydroponics because you need to have a root system. Each of these holes, you have to have a root system so that the roots go down far enough into these holes to get down to the liquid. And so uh, we're getting ready to plant those things and then get them growing. The decision that we've made is that initially we were planning on growing a lot of different things in the hydroponics uh, like tomatoes and we even considered adding additional hydroponic systems to uh, the homestead but after a couple of years of experience we've realized that certain plants um, like a tomato needs a lot of support and they grow so fast in the hydroponics that they're their uh, all their stems are just thin but they grow wonderfully they just can't support the weight because they grow so fast so <clears throat> trying to get something around it structure around it so that they don't just collapse or bend um, has been a bit of a challenge so what we've decided is that we've all been dealing with a lot of inflation and different things and so one of the things that was hit, like many others, was uh, feed for our animals. We thought that what a great way to use the hydroponics to grow not only feed, food for ourselves, like lettuces and so forth, things that don't grow as tall, but can also be fed to the chickens, the ducks, and so forth, like kale and other types of greens that would be beneficial and supplement their diet keeping the food costs down so kind of a win-win we get we're gonna get a lot of food you go and you take a clipping of some kale and the kale grows back or um, <clears throat> many other greens will replenish itself after you've clipped off some so you get a lot more for a lot less come on Luna okay we we're sitting here taking care of chores around the homestead and all of a sudden our two bunny rabbits show up and the chickens have been right around them and Nobody seems to be bothered. No. Nope. All right, so you guys can see behind me, right? These two. They like taking their water baths, so we put this bucket out so they could have something to drink. And they both got in it. And, of course, Charming Hi, decided that Hi, Charming. that was the time he was going to get busy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess uh, if you want baby ducks, just put a small white bucket <laughs> out so the female can take her bath and the male will just come in and... Uh, you know, <laughs> you just have a big day. <laughs> so maybe we can have some baby ducks in the future. Good morning, tripod. Got a little coffee this morning. And our favorite bunny ever, Mr. Tripod. Yeah, that poor kid. He uh, he somehow got into a. I don't know if it was a trap or what it was, but if you can see, let me see if I can show you here without him getting too spooked. You can see on his back there, right there on his back, he's lost a little fur, and I think he injured his front foot. He's been struggling a little bit, so we've been taking care of him really aggressively the past couple of days trying to get him back to health and he's getting better and better but boy he is one tough bunny I think given all that we've all been going through over the past few years this little kid gives us some inspiration you can pretty much get through anything because he has been through a lot right kid yeah we can all do it together Good morning, quackers. Good morning, quackers. Are you kids ready for some some fresh water and stuff? Morning, girls. <laughs> okay. 
morning nuggets everybody's getting bigger and bigger look at the size of those kids my goodness look at you you're just huge and yeah, we got some eggs Mommy. got a beautiful duck egg and two chicken eggs and we'll probably end up getting some more today all right so we'll go get the uh garden a little bit of water this morning a little update here on the plants you can see we have got some really really nice growth the one thing that we are struggling with at the moment is our corn did not come up so we may have used a package that was um, sort of uh, too old and we haven't looked it up yet but corn may be really susceptible to the age of the corn and whether it would seed but my goodness look at the growth we're really really making some nice prog progress here some of our newest growth as you can see right there and some in here as well through there and there so overall, we're really pleased with, uh, you know, just a couple of weeks in the ground. Um, we're really pleased with how things are going and, and progressing, but we definitely need to do something about that corn because <laughs> it, did, it didn't start. So we're gonna have to try to plant some more seeds. our melon bed and everything looks like it's doing pretty well here there's some good growth I need to give this some water though we gave the other water just a bit earlier but I need to get this one watered up because that soil looks a little dry and we didn't get rain for the past couple days so we'll get this one some water and make it happy That's better. Now she's working. That's what I wanted. You can see some of the great growth we got here. Ah, spider web. Everything is, oh, spider web. Everything is growing absolutely beautifully. Very happy stuff. But we're still having to hand water this stuff. So we usually have our American flag up, but we get some winds. And the flag that we got had just kind of a plastic holder and well it succumbed to the wind so i've got a metal holder that i'm going to replace this with and hopefully it will hold out as you can see there um yeah that pretty much that pretty much did the job on it so I'm going to go ahead and switch this out for a metal holder. So you can see I have a metal one. And this one should definitely weather the storm a lot better than that plastic one. Because the one thing you have to know about Florida is that plastic does not do well in Florida sun.
Join us next time on the Average Camper's Adventures.